one. So I am going to do a crafting series videos. I actually got around to tidying up my craft room today. I'm feeling a lot better after what I said yesterday. I feel I've got less pressure on my shoulders. I was actually crafting last night. So what I'm going to do is make a journal. So I'm going to do it on video with you guys. Um, as always, my hands are a state. <laughs> it's a distress thing. It always stains me, but anyway. So what I've done, first of all, I am going to show this the way I make it. This There's tons and tons of amazingly talented ladies out there that do journals and stuff. I just do it my way. I've pulled out some stuff that I'm going to put in the journal um, to do my pages and stuff. I always work and put the pages together first. I know some people do the covering things first. Sometimes I do, it just depends. But this time, I'm going to go through my pages. So I'll show you what I've pulled out. I have a couple of glassine bags, I have some paper bags, I've got a bit of torn um, coffee stained paper that I had in my stash, I've got some sheets that were sent to me, coffee dyed paper, I have a piece of Anna from Lace Petite One, one of her printed sheets, some other printed sheets that are off the public domain. I just had in all these in my stash. I haven't printed anything else off. Um, I've got some coffee dyed paper, some coffee dyed um, grid paper. What do you call that again? Is it grid? I can't remember. There's a name for it. Some of these coffee dyed appointment sheets, a piece of vellum, the telephone order sheet. I have a music piece, a book page, and some hunky dory papers. So, so far, that is what I'm going to use for my pages. So what I do then is just, and this is how I usually decide on what size of journal I'm going to do, whatever size of pages. Sometimes I might cut pages down and stuff, but usually I'll stick with A4 folded in half, which will give you about five and three quarters by, should be eight and a quarter. Yeah, eight and a quarter. So I'm just going to fold all these and I like putting these old book pages in because they're nice for putting photographs on and you can also stain them up, you can also gesso over them. So I know that this telephone sheet is definitely going to need to cut down a wee bit because it's bigger than any four, but we'll do that in a second. This vellum's really nice, Ruth sent me this and it's got the speckles in it. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use two of these and I'll fold one that way with the appointments that way and I'll fold the other one the other side with the things to do on that side and then graph paper that's it graph paper I knew it would come to me fold all these in half so this is the easy bit just getting all your pages together. Sometimes I put in, you know, vintage book pages, but I'm just pulling out for this journal all the stuff I have, and I've got a big pile of stuff that I'm going to use to decorate it. But I'll show you that when we get on to that bit. So, as you can see, I don't do this with a bone fold or anything like that I do it really fast really quick because then you can just push it down you don't have to be too fussy about this bit okay and I haven't counted them or anything so I will decide once I've folded them if I'm going to do one or two signatures because unless I've done my cover first and I know what size my spine is then I don't know if I'm going to do one or two, so I just fold them all up and then I will decide if I'm going to do one, two or even three um, signatures. I have done one, I've done a, a naked journal that I had five signatures in, but um, this one I'm not going to do as many as that because I haven't got any more coffee dyed paper and... I'm not going to print off anymore. I have got some beautiful digital kits. But for this one, I just want it to be a bit of a, a mishmashy journal. And I think 
we'll put two pieces of this in. And then that piece, and fold the bags in half as well. And what I haven't got is a couple of doilies, and I always like putting doilies in just for a wee bit of decoration. So I'm going to grab a couple of doilies. Okay, so I've grabbed one of these ones, um, and I think, was it, I can't remember if it was Dora that sent me them or Susan that sent me them. But I'm going to use it in here. I love doing the junk journal swap supply spot because you get lots of different things that you've not got and it's really cool. So let's fold this one in half as well. Okay, so I've got all these bits and pieces and then with the two, I want these to go in the spine. So what I'm going to do is grab some washi tape. So let's just see, that shouldn't be in there. Oh look, there's a wee pocket. <laughs> Found that. Let's just grab a nice piece of washi tape. Mm. Well, that one's nice, I like that one. So, I'm going to use this music one and I'm going to stick these two together. So, I'll glue it as well because obviously washi tape, some of it isn't that strong and over time it would come off. So, what I'm going to do. So this is going to be like a, a sort of craft along with me series because I do like doing this and I like watching these as well so I thought why not we'll go with it. So just put that like that, put the washer tape right over the middle and then And then I'm going to do the exact same on the other side and just stick it down like that. That's nice, that washi tape. I like it. I can't remember where I got it or somebody sent me it, but it's really nice with the music notes on it. Okay, so pop that to the side. And then I'm going to leave that to dry for a wee second. So then I'd come back to this. So think with the amount of pages in it I might do two actually we'll see what I'll do is I'll mm, might be alright for one actually there's not that many so what I then do is I separate my plain papers from my pattern papers and things like that so I've got this one so these are different to my normal coffee stains so I'm going to separate them I'm going to take all my printed ones I'm going to put my coffee guide ones into a pile my graph ones separate these two separate and then we have that and that so i've got two of the hunky dory should i do two signatures do you think do you know what we will we'll go for two signatures okay so we have two of the hunky dory we will have let's see how many of this coffee tiger got one two three four five six seven eight nine so i've got an odd one out there so i'm going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to keep one out. Then we'll go a graph paper each. Then we'll go one of these each. Let's see how many pattern papers we have. In fact, we've got two of them. We've got one of them in each signature. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So let's take one of these out just now. And we'll go one, two, three, four. We have two doilies, so we'll put one in each. We've got two bags, so we'll put one in each. We've got two of the reappointment papers, so we'll put one in each as well. Then let's see what we have left. So we've got a vellum, we've got a telephone, we have a ripped piece, and then I'll put tags in there, and then we'll put that like that. So each signature has the same amount of pages in it, just different stuff. Okay, and that is going to be like that. So then what I'll do is take my first signature 
and I decide what I want to be my front page and with this one I'm going to go with this nice B plate I think that's really pretty so then I would go for a coffee dyed sheet and in between that I'll put the paper, the music paper so let's put that there then I'll go for um, a hunky dory paper and this paper and this is absolutely that needs trimmed in a wee bit this is absolutely personal choice sorry if you can hear some shouting outside guys I don't know what's going on there's some people walking past so I just go and put whatever I think because you're going to add envelopes and all sorts of bits and pieces in here anyway so we'll have that we'll have now at this point I will just snip open the bag so I can put my tags and journal and cards and stuff inside it that can go there this can go here then I'll have my doily then I'll have and I always do it in the middle of my signature by coffee dye paper I don't know why I just always have that I can go to the top and then we'll have the coffee dye paper in the middle and then I'll usually go through it and if I'm not happy with any of it I would move it about but something it needs trimmed so I will do that in a second but we'll go back to this one and then again I'm going to choose what I want to be my first page and I think we'll go with this one will we? no we won't then we'll go with this one because that goes better with the B ok so we have that and then I will have my doily there coffee dyed sheet there. I don't worry about that because that will straighten out. <coughs> Sorry guys, I still got a wee bit of cold. Then I'll have my hunky dory sheet. Then let's see. I'll have my book page. I'll put that to the top. Then I'll have my digital sheet. my graph paper right in between that I'll have some vellum and then I'll have some graph paper then I'm going to fold over and I like it to be these little bags have the open and it's got like the cup there I want that to face this way I'm going to put this down the bottom this time there and we'll have that and we'll have that then I'll have and this, this, my bag, like that, set the one to it that way, okay, and then my last coffee dye paper for the middle. Alright, so what I'll do now is go back and see which needs to be cut. So there won't be many. So they ones are alright. They ones are alright. They're alright. The vellum needs a bit off. So you could tear it if you wanted to. Just tear it across. I think I will use. Some these are the wave scissors. This adds another wee bit of interest. You don't have to do anything like this, but it is a junk journal after all, so it's nice just to add a wee bit of interest. So let's see if that's better. And it is. And I think the rest of them in this one are alright. Yep. So then we'll go to here. And we'll just make sure 
Give it all all right. So it's only the two. There's this one. And if that's in that one, oh, it does, it does need to cut in this one. I just haven't noticed it. I'll just cut it. And then this one, I'm going to tear it. Pop that back in. And then the telephone one, I'm going to use my scissors and go right down the edge. Want to take the brown one out? And let's just tear off a quarter of an inch. Okay, so there we have our two signatures. You can see lots of different variations of paper, so that looks cool. So, next. What I'm going to do is make the cover because I like to bind it before I start decorating it. So I'm going to decide, um, I think I want quite a floral, quite a floral. Okay, so I'm going to check, I'm going to pull out a paper or a card and then I'll show you guys how I make the cover to go with these pages. Okay, so I've chosen this piece of card. The last journal that I made, I made it with a two inch spine. Um, it was quite a big book journal. You can see it's a big, huge one. But this one, I'm going to do the cover differently. I do all different kinds of things. You know, I just do what I feel like at the time. So I've chosen this double sided 12 by 12 piece of card. This is 250 GSM. I don't know worry about that. We're going to we'll make it thicker. So what I do then is take my two um, signatures place my card over the top and then I want to kind of see now this isn't I know there is a lot of professional ways of doing this guys but I like this is the way I do it and I like doing it as I say I do it all different ways but so if you can see I'm going to zoom in a bit if you can see here what I do is I leave myself probably about quarter of an inch to the side in case I want to put any lace or anything on it and then at this edge I leave maybe just a bit less down this edge. So can you see? I'm going to turn it around so you can see. So about that much around the edge. So maybe a bit, I don't know, an eighth, an inch, sixteenth, what is it, an eighth? But you can see there how much of the card I leave anyway. So then what I do is get myself a pencil. And I'll leave the same amount at the bottom, so say about there, like that. Fold it over. Now, I'm not creasing it. I'm just kind of giving myself a wee push down so that it's kind of rounded because it's going to have two signatures in it, so I don't want to crease it. So I'll just kind of round it like that. Okay. Perfect. You can see it's just kind of rounded like that. Then, where I've marked it, I'm going to take my trimmer. And I'm just going to trim it down to my pencil mark. Like that. I'll keep that bit. Okay, so that's going to be the front. Like that. Alright. Then I'm going to use this piece. And I'm going to put it on here. And 
called it up so that you know that it's the same size like that. Do you know what I mean? So you're going to glue it on the back here. So what I do then, place your piece of card, pattern on pattern, the same pattern on pattern, put it to the edge, right to the edge like that. Close your book. Where you don't crease it, remember until you have got the loop, see how it's like when I hold that up like that, it's still open. So don't crease it down. Line it up as good as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys, because we'll probably put lace and stuff on it anyway. And then hold it like that. And then I'm going to put a pencil mark at the top and a pencil mark at the bottom. And that just put a, a slight line if that helps as well. That helps me know where I'm going to put my glue. So I always use wet glue. You can use like red tape, but I wouldn't just use ordinary. Um, you could, I guess, if you've got double sided tape, whatever your preference is, but it needs to be nice and strong. So then just glue it all the way up, all the way to my line, over my pencil line. Now, have I glued that on the wrong side? No, I haven't. Oh, panic station's here. I'm thinking, no, I've glued it on the wrong side, but I haven't. So, plenty of glue. Then, easier doing it this way, actually. Pop it down, just so that it grabs slightly. Turn it over. And then all you have to do is match it up to your line. Like that, making sure it's nice and straight because you've got your pencil lines. So it's nice and straight. Like that. Close it over and make sure it's right, which it is. I've got some extra glue here, so I'm just going to take that off. Doesn't stick. Okay. Turn it over and then just chop off your excess straight as you can, just following the bottom of the card. And then we have I'm getting glue everywhere tonight. My bear folder, bear cover. Okay. So if you like your pattern on the inside, you could keep it, but I like to make my cover a bit thicker. Obviously, this is only 250 GSM, so I do want to make it a bit um, thicker. So I'm going to choose what pattern card I'd like on the inside. That's quite nice, actually. The first one that I've seen, the light green, is quite nice. So is that. So is the brown. <laughs> I like them all. It's hard to decide. That one's nice. That one's really nice with the, the writing and stuff. You can see it's quite light, but it's got florals on it and script. So I'm going to cover my whole cover the glue. Like I said, if it's easier, you can use double sided tape. I'm just used to using and go right over your seal as well. Uh, your not your seal your um your join okay all the way over making sure you've got it right to the edges so you got a good stick okay then now at this point as well make sure that your your cards the right way up. See, that's my back, so that's the right way up for me because I'll I put the join to the back of the book. Then I'm just going to pop it right on all the way over, making sure it's straight all the way around, just lining it up like that, making sure it's straight at this side. Yeah. Then turn it over. 
cut off your excess piece. So now you have a cover that is 500 GSM thick. So obviously I've not added any fabric to this cover but you could if you wanted to add on fabric. And then with this piece I'm just going to add a wee bit extra glue just to make sure that it sticks and pop that on there like that okay and don't worry too much about the join because I'm going to put a piece of washi tape over that as well just for really aesthetics but that looks nice okay so I now have a 500 GSM cover and then press it down for this side and trim off your extra. So essentially we've only used two pieces of 12 by 12 card but we've got a nice sturdy cover that you've made yourself. What you can do as well at this point, if you've got one, you don't have to, but take a brio and just go round the edge. Well, that's actually quite nice. I had some blue ink on that, I didn't even realise. Um, so just go round the edge and it just presses all the glue out, making sure it's nice and that's quite nice. Oh, I, pl I planned that, I planned that. That's That was definitely planned. <laughs> Okay, so then I'm going to use the same washi tape as what I used inside eh, on my glassine bags. And then all I do is put some glue right down the join. Just a bit to help the washi tape stick. And go on with that as straight as I can like that just trim it like that same on this side okay And now that looks like it was supposed to be there. Okay. Right. Oops, can I get that off my fingers? So that's my inside. Let me see if I got it the right way up. Yep, yeah, that's my inside now. And just tease it over like that. And you have a 500 GSM colour. Now don't worry about this bit because I ink all this up anyway. If you can see any white bits or anything showing. So let's grab our signatures, pop them on the inside because this helps to shape it like that. You see? Now at this stage, if you feel like your cover's a wee bit too big just cut a wee bit off it I think this will be too big for my trimmer maybe yeah I need to take it to the guillotine so I'm going to trim just a wee tiny bit off the top of this and then I'll be back okay so I feel that's better it was just too much space in between the top and the bottom that's definitely better now I I think I need to slightly trim the edges as well. So I don't know if I'll be able to do it on this. If it's, I'm literally going to take it to the one centimeter. I'll take that off. I'll take it to the one centimeter here. And take that off. Yeah, 
that's better definitely fits better okay so that's the cover so far and the pages so before i put an inside pocket or anything like that and i will bind the pages in now so we'll do that next actually before i do that what i'm going to do is take um distress ink i'm going to use this one is the brush corduroy obviously you can use whatever color suits your journal and i'm going to go around the edge of my cover this just hides the fact that it's two pieces of card and makes it look like one because you can't kind of see the white just go all the way around the edge that on the front and the back okay I'm going to just pull a bit in at the edges not a lot but it's just to make sure that it's definitely covered and we don't have any white bits side as well okay I'm also actually going to go up the inside of this There we go. Right. Well, let's bind this bad boy and see how we go on with it. So, two signatures. Now, there is um, lots of videos all across YouTube. I know Artie Mae does one. I know Joey DeFee does one. There's lots of people that have systems that they will show you for binding where you can do the wee bits of card and stuff and measure it all out so if you're not um i just do it this is just the way i do it but if you're looking for like more measurements and things like that definitely check out Artie Mays and joy because they do some fantastic binding um tutorials but this is just how i do it so again fit it in exactly where you want it push it in as tight as you can make sure that it definitely fits nothing needs cut and things like that so at this stage you're just really double checking that everything's going to fit fine which it is push it right in so you can see i can now see where my two signatures are going to need to put in okay so what i'm going to use because i've got these good um what do you call them? Needles now. I'm going to use this. Before, I would do it a different way, but I'm going to do it this way because I think this will make it a bit easier for me. So I'm going to use this wax cord. You can use your, um, I use ribbon, lace, um, jute string, twine, anything like that that you want to use to bind it. But for this one, I've got this wax cord that was sent to me um, from BB Craft. If I can find the end of it, that is. I can see so I think that's how on earth. Aha, right. So they always say like you should take two and a half. I just usually take a length, like I'll show you. So mines, I'll tell you, I'll measure it and I'll tell you how much mines is. So that's 12, 24. 12 is about 36 inches long, but that's way too long. You didn't need all that. So I'm just going to pop it through the needle. This is the first time I've done it this way, guys. So you'll be watching me do this for the first time. 
same, I'm going to do the same sewing in the same holes, but just use the needle. I've never used that before. So what I do then is when I've got them in like that, I'll take my pencil and I will just mark on the bottom of my, in fact, I'll do it this way, it'll be easier to show you. Take my signatures, make sure they're nice and tight. Okay, you can pull them up a bit because, just so that you can see, can you see what I'm doing? No. Yeah, that's easier. So pull it up about maybe about half an inch and then just mark where the two are going to go. So I know that when I close my book up like this, pull them back an inch or half an inch just so that you can see. And I know that when I close that book and push them in and make sure everything's snug and tight, I can mark, put two marks where I want to put them okay I'll show you what I mean so if you can see now inside my cover I've got two pencil marks so let's go for this so the first one open it up to the center double check your pages I know where mines are where they are want to be I put some of them high and some of them low make sure they're really nice and tight okay right tight to the center then take a bulldog clip and clip it on one side and clip it on the other side like that okay that's actually not as tight as what i want it on that side there we go then line it up to my first mark the center And I've got one of these um, like foam pads and I'm going to take a pokey tool and I'm just going to double check I'm on my mark, which I am. And I go about an inch in and make a mark, poke it through in the centre, poke it through and then again about an inch down from the bottom and just poke it right through like that. So I'm hoping this is going to work because I've never done it like this before. So we will see. If it's wrong, it's wrong. It's only paper. We can start again. So I want my um, strings to be on the outside of this journal. So you're going to start from the bottom hole. Go right through. Is that right? Let me think. Yeah. Start from the bottom. Go in. And then back out through the top. Like that. No, wait a minute. No, this is that's going to bind it on the inside. Scrap that, scrap that, scrap that. Start from the inside at the bottom. It just depends. Sometimes I do the strings on the inside, the outside, but this time I want them on the outside. So through and then back up through my top hole. Like that. Okay, so you've got your string hanging at that side. Then, just pull it, make sure you've got enough. Take it down through there, through the centre one. And then take that off. Thread on this one. Okay, and then back through. So you see you've got this, and then back through the centre. Like that. And that's what you should end up with. Okay. Make sure at this point... You have one side of your string on one side and the other on the other side. One tail on one side and one on the other. You can take the needle off, pull it nice and tight. And then just tie. As I say, this is just how I do it, guys. You've maybe got a much more sophisticated. I know there's all sorts of stitches that you can do, but I've always stuck to this one. I like it, so I'm just going to stay with it. And then tie you're not nice and tight and I always do three three or four and I covered that up anyway I'm going to put some fabric on this okay see I've got much more than what I need there but I always do that just to make sure that I've got enough and cut it off now this is the bit 
but I'm not sure eh, because I've never done this before. Let's see if this has worked. So we'll go to the front of the journal and yeah, it should be fine. Yep, that's worked out fine. So we've got that one. Then we're just going to do the exact same. Take it to our pencil mark with the second one. Make sure we've got it the right way up because I have done that before where I've put it in and it's been the wrong way. So let's make see where my centre is. Make sure everything is nice and tight. Make sure I put that bag up a wee bit. Let me just make sure I've got this the right way. Cause... Okay, so I want this to go this way. So again, as tight as I can get it into the crease, onto my pencil mark. In fact, I'm forgetting. Hold it. Make it easier on you, Sam. Same on this side. Push it right in, hold it tight, and then clip it. Just makes it easier to bind. Make sure I've still got it the right way, which I have. Then put my centre as tight as I can to my pencil mark. Now, because I am going to be putting lace over the cover, I haven't measured and I'm not bothered if I get my binding at the same place because, like I said, I'm going to cover the back with lace. If you want, you can measure it and stuff, like I said, but I'm not going to. Okay, so let's again, actually, before I do that, I'm going to thread, because I'll not have enough pair of hands, thread this needle. I quite like this wax cord, it's quite cool. Okay, so you can do this and if you don't have one of these you can use an old book or something just to, something for you to push it into. But definitely an old book would work perfect. So just line that up there, pop that down and again about an inch from the bottom right through and you're doing it right in the center crease all the way through your pages and then again about an inch from the top right through the center and then um let me think how did i do that the last time and from the top through yep yeah. no 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 and <laughs> so in through the bottom Up through the top. Okay. Make sure I've got enough to go through. Back through the centre. Take the needle off. Rethread the needle on this side. And then pop it through. Well, that's much easier than what I've been doing. I've been doing it with pokey tools and trying to push it through and everything. I like it with the needle. It's much easier. Much neater as well. Smaller holes. Okay. So then, put one string on one side, one on the other. And take these off now. Pull it nice and tight. And just tie a knot. Okay, let's see how that turned out. So now we have, there's the binding on the back. You can see it's nice and neat. I'm going to cover that anyway. But let's see. So on the inside, you can see it's nice and neat here. Pages are nice and neat, they're nice and straight. Let's see what it's like in between the two signatures, because that's important. Yep, perfect. So that's cool. Okay, so we have the basic um, beginnings of a journal. So let's see.
Okay, so I'm aware how long this um, video is. So what we'll do is I'll end this video here. Um, we'll have a flip through, look at the pages, and then I'll end it, I'll upload it, and then I'm going to move on to the next part. So this is what we've got so far. So we've got our cover, no pockets, nothing, just bare. So we'll have a look through, make sure our pages are all fine. Maybe. Happy with them. So I really like that binding with the, the needle, it's actually turned out really good. You can see the centre pages. So I'm just checking everything's alright. So we've got our bag. It's quite cool because it lies quite flat, so it's good for writing. Um, and we have our centre, which is cool. Straighten that out, I'll do something with that. We've got a wee bag. Okay, so we're looking good so far. Okay, so I will end it here and then I'll go on to the next part. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope this has been alright and it's not been too boring. This is just the way I do it. Um, obviously, it's, there's loads of different techniques, but hopefully you'll like it. So hit me a thumbs up if you do and I'll see you in the next part. Thank you.